beautiful Jaffa going on I-24 News in like 20 minutes to talk about Facebook Live new features, Instagram adding music, aka copying Musical.ly, and Uber having seriously messed up and killed a human being with their self-driving technology. Before I go to the studio, I gotta show you the view here because it is, wow. Has had this live feature for a while. I've been using it regularly. It's pretty primitive. It works, but you gotta like share the, the, the live stream and four different pages if you want to distribute it and you can't rewind and all kinds of strange things. Why didn't they implement this a long time ago? Facebook's now implementing it and kind of making it, and I'm not gonna say more advanced platform because again, these things should have been implemented a long time ago, making it more seamless. So we, we talk regularly about Instagram copying Snapchat. Uh, they've copied probably by now hundreds of features from Snap. Now they're going and taking t different target musically, which is a very hot social platform among the younger generation and they're adding music to stories so you know mm -hmm. they, they copied the stories thing from right. snap and now they're adding the ability to add music to your stories and they're taking that from musically technology advances and there's always hiccups this is a little bit more than a little hiccup it killed someone self-driving technology of uber killed someone and there was speculation what caused it did it not see that person did it see it did it what ended up happening the discovery now is that it actually did see that person mm -hmm. the technology saw the person it's not that they didn't see it but it marked it the person as a false positive saying you don't have to you don't have to stop keep going and it just basically which is weird i mean even if you if this technology is able to sense what's you know a threat and what's not you still don't want to bowl over an obstacle right. well, i mean unless if they're it's, like unless it's, it's not a person but what if it's like a big pole or right. a huge you know well, an animal in the middle of the street but you don't you know? want self-driving cars stopping for a shadow Right, for example. Correct. So th th this, you have to understand what goes into these sensors. Like a self-driving car should be able to tell what's in front of it. Like I'm talking 300 feet in pitch black. You gotta work these things out. A lot of things have to we, happen. A lot of things know. have to happen, yeah. How was it? How was it? It was awesome. Hills Fold is like, you know what? It's two, it's two hyperactive people in one segment and we always it. know how to like fill the snap. Hells rooms. yeah. See how we just Hells yeah. didn't miss a beat? See you next week. Thank you. Bye. Love the energy, love the energy. So here we are at Singtel Innovate. Is that what it's called? The show? Yeah. Okay. This tall, good-looking guy behind us, Gil, he runs the show here. <laughs> but, but you're next. You're next. Okay. okay. Who are you? Hi. I'm Esther Lowy, and I'm the CEO of Upround Ventures. I established Upround Ventures a little over four years ago as one of the first platforms to really serve two constituencies. So one are the Israeli startups that are ready to expand to really fast-growing markets in Asia, sort of Hong Kong, China, and then Southeast Asia, Singapore. Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines. These companies have usually validated their product or tech in the US or Europe and now are ready. And secondly, are enterprises uh, representing financial institutions, logistics, um, utilities, uh, you know, retail, e commerce. They are starving for really strong technologies that we have here in Israel. And so they approached me to really, you know, identify those technologies to better serve their customers. You are a pitching machine. I feel, like I, could, to learn. I feel like I can wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and you were just like boom, 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 boom. That was you amazing. Know, life is too short to just do it in a dull way. Where are you from originally? Give me a little background on you. New York. All right. Excellent. Where in New York? York? City? Uh, the, yeah, city, and then we moved to Riverdale. Did we talk about this? We did talk we about did, this. We did, we did, we did, we did. Very cool. So what's, what do we expect today? What's going on today? Where are we? What's so happening? what's really interesting then, you know, this is kind of a spoiler for the intro that I'm going to give, but um, the whole idea of what Texas Israel Innovation Challenge is that it's tied to the Texas Global Summit, which will be the end of uh, June in Bangkok. And last year, as part of this large Thai corporate group that came to Israel, Texas CEO, um, this young dynamic entrepreneur came and she was so impressed she invited me to the first uh, event last year and there were about 6,000 people and um, executives and the biggest companies and they and they kept approaching me for you know information about different Israeli tech this year it's gonna be even bigger they're aiming for 10,000 people 
uh, even more significant are these leading enterprises and really C-level folks that show up. Amazing. And what's really cool is that they started this road show in 19 cities around Asia Pacific and Israel is the 20th. So wow. we don't fit in there you know, wow. geographically, but um, we're going to be there with you know, leading companies. Um, Super cool. And, yeah. The agenda tonight, real quick, snap. I gotta get Adam on camera also. What's, what's going on tonight? Agenda. It's not tonight. Uh, today. It's afternoon. Uh, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. I say it's funny. Isn't it? Isn't it? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I see over there yes. in a second. But first, quick, what's what, what we got expect? What are we expecting today? So six finalists, really impressive companies representing fintech, representing industrial IoT, AI, really amazing. Um, they're gonna fit into the industrial IoT. I'm not giving it away. We right, announce right. the six tomorrow. We'll announce the winner. Uh, okay. Awesome. Well, this isn't awesome, coming out for like a week. So awesome companies. We it's gonna be really tough. And then we're gonna have a panel moderated by Boom. your truly yes. um, and it's about tachlis you know the art of how do you engage with companies in Southeast Asia how do you get in the door what are they looking for Love it. then we'll go behind closed doors deliberate pick a winner voila Love it. all right now check out the view Here I am at Singtel Innovate. Great name, what the heck is Singtel Innovate? Who are you guys, what do you guys do here? What's happening, what are we doing here tonight besides eating ridiculously delicious pizza? Who are you? <laughs> so we're Singtel Innovate. We're the corporate venture fund of Singapore Telecom. We're a $250 million fund. We were founded about seven years ago to help Singtel in the process of transformation to become a, a more digital and more innovative telco um, that can work well with startups, which is something that operators in general have not been able to do. So we do a combination of investments and then companies that we think don't, don't fit our investment model, but do have potential working with Singtel, we also help them meet with the right business units within Singtel. And Gal actually is part of the group that, that helps in that connection and runs that, that part of the organization. One important, one important detail though. Who the heck are you? Well, my name is Gil Prasker. And, um, <laughs> tallest man in Israeli tech. Not really, but there's tall well, people. One of the tallest. tallest. One of the tallest. Yeah, definitely one. Yeah, definitely one of the tallest. Who else is tall in Israeli tech? Yeah, in tech, there's a lot of people. You know, what's his let's name? Let's limit to VCs. Google. Oh, well, who's tall? Who's tall VC in this country? No, no, let's limit to VCs. There's not that many like that's tall true. VCs. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But there's a, a guy, Hanoch, you know, uh, well, Han. Do you know Han? Pretty tall. A couple of people, pretty tall in this ecosystem. Okay, so tall people. So you know what I find interesting always, by the way, and and this specific. You know, I'm a guy who meets a lot of entrepreneurs who kind of knows the ecosystem here, but I'm like in the other room, I think I met like four companies I never even heard of. Like there's so much innovation, but forget that for one second. I love the fact that, you know, when I speak around the world about Israeli tech, I talk, you know, listen, all the top tier VCs are pouring money into Israel. We're seeing money from, from China, Alibaba, Baidu, Baba, but even freaking Singapore is all over it. Like oh. everybody wants a piece of the pie in a good way, not in a bad way. Israel is like super duper freaking hot right now. I love that, I love that. What do you do here? I do strategic partnership and marketing. Cool. Do deal flow, meeting It's with Gil and Gal. Gil, Gil and Gal. Gal. Okay, <laughs> just making sure I got that right. Yeah. Okay. You did. Okay, so you guys work together, and so sorry, strategic partnership, I totally cut you off, I apologize. I can cut him off, because we're close enough. We don't know each other that well, yet, so I have to apologize. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Let's start from the beginning. Strategic partnerships, yeah. I'm doing strategic partnership, uh, marketing and deal flow. Cool. So I meet a lot of companies, Amazing. also for investments and for partnerships with okay. Intel. So number one, I'm gonna be sending you a lot of investor decks, because I see endless Great. deal flow. Number two, give me a little bit of your background. Like what did you do before? Uh, so in my background, in short, uh, I'm a scuba diving instructor. That's something I didn't expect to hear. A lawyer. Really? Yeah. Well, that that's is unfortunate. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say I'm sorry, but okay, yeah, wow, that's a nice combo. Okay, uh, still a lawyer. Was, yeah, I am still a lawyer. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm also still a scuba diving You're instructor. Dive fan? So, so how about you just tell me what you don't do? <laughs> I'm also an entrepreneur oh, really? in a fintech startup. Wow. Um, yeah, and now I'm doing this. Okay, I'm, I'm, do not answer this question because I'm not asking. I just want to point out you look way too young to have done all those things. I'm just going to point that out. Mm -hmm. Anyway, listen, so tonight, give me what's what's the what's the context here, or let's call it the agenda of, of Singtel with this event tonight. So Singtel is a huge telco uh, in Southeast Asia Pacific. It actually owns other telcos in the region. Okay. One of them is AIS. Okay. which is the largest cellular operator in Thailand. Got it. Um, it's also one of the big sponsors for Texas. Got it. And we're kind of doing the road, okay. the road show for, for this it. tonight. Singtel also owns uh, major parts in uh, Airtel, but the Airtel uh, in India. Got it. Uh, Globe Philippines. Wow. Telecom Cell Indonesia. Uh, it, it fully owns Optus, which is the se second largest cellular operator in uh, Australia. You guys are pretty, pretty legit. So, right. Yeah. So the region is really important to us and we want to promote Love the it. You know the, the technology and Israeli tech that can actually go and see a new, see a large market that has potential in an emerging market, and that's our relationship in helping provide a platform 
to get that word out there. Incredible. Three things to say. First of all, how do you such, like you sound completely American. You're Israeli. I am. Well, I grew up back and forth, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was just curious. Yeah, there you go. Uh, two other things I want to say to you is I, I really would like to talk to you guys for a couple more hours, but we're going to end this interview now for two reasons. One, I feel super short. <laughs> you mean sitting down? And two, and two, the pizza out there. The pizza out there, by the way, is ridiculous. I got to have my fourth slice. <laughs> you got to go for it. Anyway, good luck so with the pepperoni. I mean, Hilla loves the pepperoni pizza. Oh, you're giving me so much trouble. Oh, my God. <laughs> No pepperoni! I don't even know where to start with this interview. We have like 80 different directions by which we are. Are we on right now? We're on right now, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know where to start. So let's start with the fact that, how do I say this diplomatically? Me and your older sister, we go way back. <laughs> we were close back in the day. We're talking like fourth, fifth grade. I think she's my first girlfriend. Um, that's connection yeah, You were like the cool guy who was dating my sister you know, when I was in kindergarten. That's so funny, that's funny. I remember that. That's, uh, that's connection number one. Connection number two is who's your wife? Uh, Dina Pulitzer. And what's her maiden name? Eisenberg. Do I have to like pull this out of you? Yeah. So his I brother know, I know you like the Eisenberg. Yeah, well, Mike, Michael's the man. Michael Eisenberg from Olive, ex benchmark, big VC, amazing dude, good friend. So there's that connection. And then there's just that connection in general. What, what do you do? Uh, I lead GE Ventures here in Israel. How'd that happen? Uh, so I've been working at GE for a long time. I've been here 13 years and I. Uh, it's weird because I still think of you as like in third grade or something. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> So I, uh, I started in their venture group uh, about 12 years ago uh, in the US. I uh, was looking to try to get over here to Israel and try to bring a big company over here. Nice. GE had been here for many years, but never obviously engaged in the technology ecosystem. Forced the issue and said, we've got to start investing. I was coming over here a lot to visit family. Nice. Uh, did a couple deals and kind of made it happen one day. So I've been here six and a half years now. I, I said before, and I was interviewing Gil and, and the uh, Singtel team, it always boggles my mind how we're a country that's smaller than New Jersey and everyone wants a piece of the pie in a good way. Like GE, like the big freaking GE. Like why are they even looking in our direction? Let, and then, you know, then there's, they're starting on it. Then there's, you know, the normal, quote unquote, the normal uh, non-corporate top tier VCs. Everyone's here in, in yeah. one way or another. You know, even, you know, some that I'm not gonna mention now that are now officially here are really here. They're starting the thing, I think I gotta go. But GE Ventures, if somebody um, wants, first of all, give me two seconds on your, on your uh, investment kind of philosophy. What are you looking for? Sure, generally uh, seed to growth stage. We do a lot of, we do a lot of series B and kind of beyond, but we'll do kind of 20, 30% early stage. Uh, really the nexus of industrial and digitization. Love it. Um, and yeah, Israel's our core market outside the United States. Actually, Love I run Europe also. I, I'm moderating the panel, so I gotta go, but if someone wants I'm to send on the you, panel. That's, that's important. If somebody wants to send you an investor deck, the best way to do it? Uh, just send me an email, jonathan at ge.com. Done. Thank you, dude. Let's go. The winner of that competition tonight gets flown out to this ginormous tech conference in Southeast Asia. And the winner was, and I'm allowed to say this now because this is only being published in a week, they're only announcing this in a couple of days, Edgy Bees, the AR drone company founded by Adam Kaplan and was on the vlog maybe three months ago. Sick company, edgybees.com, amazing company. Today was an awesome day. Tomorrow is going to be nuts. See you then. I used to